Hi guys and welcome to Comics and Chill and today we are looking at Dark Rain Zodiac. I know last week I made a video kind of dumping on big event series and I used Secret Invasion as my example but there was a period after that that I really enjoyed that was set up by Secret Invasion and that was called Dark Rain. So basically the very end of Secret Invasion ends with the heroes obviously beating back the Skrull army but there was one major factor which set up the next year at Marvel, the Dark Reign era, and that was that Norman Osborn, who was currently leading the Thunderbolts at the time, was seen on camera, televised across the world, firing the shot that killed the Skrull Queen. And it sort of, you know, publicity-wise for him, worked out really, really well. So Tony Stark was no longer allowed to run S.H.I.E.L.D., and S.H.I.E.L.D. was actually dissolved, and Norman Osborn set up his own security defense initiative called Hammer, sort of acting as Nick Fury, and he also put his Thunderbolts team in place as the new Avengers. So Norman took the place of Iron Man and Captain America, kind of merged into one, and he was called the Iron Patriot. Bullseye took the place of Hawkeye. Venom took the place of Spider-Man, etc., etc. And so the end of Secret Invasion set up this really interesting backdrop for Marvel for that entire year. But there was a lot of interesting little series at the time that sort of explored this theme of the villains posing as heroes and, and running the Marvel Universe for a little while. And some of these books, as I mentioned already, Dark Avengers, there was a Dark X-Men, and then there were smaller miniseries. And this is one of them that we're looking at today, Dark Reign Zodiac. It's, it's really, really fun. I'm saying it right now. Buy it if you see it. I don't know if they've done a trade paperback of this. I'm sure it's in some sort of collection. It's definitely available on Comixology. I've got the floppies of this too, and I hold them dear. But I'd never seen Nathan Fox's artwork before this, and it absolutely blew my mind. So let's dig into the book and check it out. Now, I'm not going to actually talk about too much of the story here. I'm just going to try and give you the concept, because I really think if you haven't read this and you like some of the artwork that you're seeing here, you're going to want to check this out for yourself. It's three issues long, approximately between 65 to 70 pages, and it is tight. Now, as I mentioned, in the Marvel Universe at this time, Norman Osborn is running the show. And basically, this character here, calling himself Zodiac, he really has it in for Norman. And I think he kind of hates that Osborn is sort of posing as this good guy. And Zodiac here is a straight up bad guy. He loves being bad for the sake of being bad or being a villain for the sake of being a villain. He enjoys it. There's no real origin or anything here. This guy just loves chaos and anarchy. And I'd be tempted to compare him to sort of Heath Ledger's take on the Joker, but it's something a little different than that too. So basically, this Zodiac character is going through Marvel and it's sort of picking up its scraps and dregs of villains, like this clown character here. And he is assembling a team of people that hate Norman Osborn and what he's doing as much as he does. And then he wants them to set out and pretty much cause as much chaos and trouble for Norman as possible. And he starts by killing a hundred Hammer agents, just because he can. Which causes Hammer to launch an investigation and has them chasing their tails. Whilst Zodiac and his gang are out there causing more and more chaos. And also I'd kick myself if I didn't show you Zodiac and his crew's really cool hideout. It's a downed... Hydra airship which has been scrapped but Zodiac who's some sort of genius clearly has been able to get all the tech working inside and that's their base of operations and a lot of Zodiac's crew are pretty obscure guys this guy here who seems to be not only his muscle but also his sort of man in the chair he's called Manslaughter Marsdale and you know he's had run-ins with Spider-Man, Luke Cage, Iron Fist and as I mentioned earlier we've also got the clown I think this is the clown too. I didn't know much about him other than he ran with the Ringmaster's circus gang. And later on you get to meet the Trapster and Whirlwind. And throughout the series you also get cameos from some of Marvel's heroes, specifically the Human Torch from the Fantastic Four, who has a pretty interesting run-in with the Zodiac. But I'll leave you to read that so you can find out for yourself how that turns out. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did not know Nathan Fox's work prior to this, and it was love at first sight for me. He has this sort of Paul Pope thing going on, but it's it's quite different, and, and his line work is really lively and energetic, yet it's all structurally sound. It's kind of gritty in places, and he doesn't draw his people looking too pretty. He definitely doesn't sex up the heroes. 
He draws people with flaws. And one thing I want to say, it might sound kind of strange, but I kind of feel like I can sort of hear his artwork, especially the details that he goes into in the backgrounds and the atmosphere. And not to mention he draws his own sound effects too and it just fits so nicely, blends in beautifully with what he's drawing. And even though this story is pretty dark, it's kind of like a black comedy, it's quite funny in places, but the overall theme of it is it's really dark. Jose Villarubia's palettes definitely make it feel kind of... Um, it adds to Fox's poppy sort of line work and energy. So this Zodiac character, he is brand new to this series. And yes, there's been other characters and groups in the Marvel Universe named Zodiac prior to him, but they explain how that was dealt with <laughs> in this series in a pretty gruesome way. But this version of the Zodiac is brand new. And that's one of the things I love about this series. Three issues... A complete story. Even though it is amongst, you know, it's on the tail end of Secret Invasion and it's amongst all of Dark Reign, it is very much its own thing. And I feel that's something that Joe Casey has handled really well within the writing. Everything you need is right here in these three issues. However, it is very much part of the Marvel Universe. It is not essential that you know anything about that. But if you are a fan, Joe Casey has some deep cuts in here for you. And he and Nathan Fox would go on to work together on several other projects. They worked on Haunt, taking over the book after McFarlane, Kirkman and Capullo left. They did Captain Victory together. And Nathan Fox has had a ton of other work that you should definitely check out. Fluorescent Black, Pigeons from Hell. He had some issues of DMZ. And his current comics gig, on top of his illustration and teaching work that he already does, is an image comic series called The Weatherman. I'll probably do a whole other video on Nathan Fox. He is one of my favorite artists. But yeah, I'll pretty much leave this there because I, I really just don't want to spoil this for anyone that hasn't read it already. If you have read this, please write to me, let me know what you thought about it. But I will say this, uh, this Zodiac character, even though they tell a complete story here, there was definitely set up at the end of this for them to do a lot more with him. And to my knowledge, Marvel have not used this character again for anything which I think they kind of dropped the ball on. I, it it kind of makes me wonder why they even bothered to do this miniseries and introduce it if they weren't going to follow it up. Maybe sales weren't what they expected, that's why they didn't carry it on. I would definitely want to see Joe Casey and Nathan Fox return if they were to carry on with this character in the future. But there was certainly more that could have been done with him, at least in this Dark Reign era. Anyway, thanks for checking out today's video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on social media. Tell a friend and have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow.